Hi, Mikhail, how are you doing? Thank you. A um, couple of questions. First thing on tonight, um, you couldn't really have asked any more, but what was your opinion on having the fans back? Was it exactly what you thought it would be? Was it what you dreamt last night when you went to bed? Just give me an idea of what, what your emotions are having had your first game back here with fans. Very special and delighted to have them back. I think uh, they made a huge contribution. We had 2,000, but they looked like uh, many more. Uh, they were really supportive with the team. Um, they were very encouraging to the team. And uh, I think the lads were saying here that it makes a huge difference to feel that support and, uh, and energy uh, from them. And um, thank you so much for them to come in and, and support the team. And on the pitch, as the fans did it off the pitch, on the pitch, your team gave everything and must restore a bit of confidence going into the North London derby, especially as Spurs tonight haven't had a good result in Europe. Yes, we've been really consistent in this competition. Um, I think the boys showed a great energy, character and aggression today. Uh, right from the beginning, uh, you could feel that they were touched from the last defeat. And um, everybody individually, I think, played a, a really good game. Um, again, we were in the final set really aggressive with the ball. We created many chances, score four goals, probably should have scored more. And now let's take that into Sunday. A very special game. We are all looking forward to it, and um, let's do it again. Uh, Charles from Goal. Hi, Mikhail. Hello. A uh, very good performance from Alexander Lacazette in that deeper role today. He scored a good goal. You know, his link-up play was excellent. Has he, has he put himself right in the forefront of your mind for for Sunday now, having sat out the last two league games? Yeah, he's played a, a good game in a position. I think he suits him. It gives him a little bit of freedom. He's really good at linking play in those positions. He worked really hard and he scored a, a beautiful goal. And same with Ainsley, mate, the nose. He gave him a run out in central midfield today. Um, and he was very, very good. It's a position that a lot of people want to see him play more. What, what does he need to do to have a chance in that role for you in the Premier League? Well, what he's done today, the great thing with Ainsley is that he can feel various positions and that's a great thing to have around the squad. He's played on the left as a wing back, he's played on the right, he can play as a holding midfielder, he can play an attacking midfielder. And um, and again, the sort of performances like tonight um, helps and um, and he has a chance to play like anybody else. Yeah, because you've talked about in the build-up to this one, you want to see more goals from midfield and midfielders chipping in and helping the forwards. He certainly did that today, he didn't score, but he set up the he set out the fourth goal and just added something extra, driving into the box and getting up in support of the strikers. Yes, the same with um, Emil, the same that uh, Joe Willock gives you in those positions because they are attacking midfielders. They are not holding midfield, they are not sex to eight. They are players that they have the ball in their mind, that they want to make those runs, that they want to, to make that final pass, they want to shoot. And at the moment, we need that. We need people with the mindset to score goals, that they want to go there, they want to take the chances, they want to be... Um, aggressive when they have the ball and when the ball is far from them, they have to make the ball because the middle of the goal is where the goals are scored. And uh, when you get in those positions constantly, the chances of scoring more goals is increased. So it's good to see that today. Just lastly for me, did you get the scan results on Thomas Partey? Is he available for Sunday, do you think? Well, he's putting a lot of pressure to us. Uh, he's training uh, tomorrow with us and let's see how it goes in the next couple of days. Thanks, Mikhail. Thank you. Duncan from the Sun. Hi, Mikhail. Just on, you obviously made 11 changes today. Uh, uh, did they show the, the passion and the intensity that you haven't had in the last league games? Have they shown effectively your Premier League side what you want from, from your Arsenal side? I said before, uh, I've seen the passion and I've seen the energy in the last, uh, in the last few games. There were moments that the moment you take a little bit the, the foot of the pedal, or the moment you lose a little bit of focus in the Premier League, you get badly punished. And the margin that we are losing games is very small. And uh, and in Europe, at the moment, you have a little bit bigger margin. And um, and you need to know that. But uh, I'm really pleased. I talk about what they've done today. And I think the 11 of them had a real purpose on the game, even if we were qualified. And uh, this is spirit I want to see every single day. Thanks. Thank you. Nick, haters. Hi, Nicole. I know you like to make a lot of changes from these Thursday night matches onto Sunday and vice versa, but realistically, how many of these players could be featuring on Sunday at Tottenham? 
Well, you've seen that uh, in the last few games, we used some players on Thursday and they end the right and they played in the weekend. And uh, this can change and this will change. Uh, I don't try to use different competitions um, to put two different teams. It's because as well, we are using them uh, with the amount of injury, suspension, and things that we had, uh, the performance level that they can give us in various positions. And you could see tonight that some of them might decide to start the game on Sunday. Can just have another quick word on Lacco. It was an exceptional goal, wasn't it? Because he seems like he's been a bit out of form recently. How pleased were you to see that? Ah, great. Because uh, you, to score that goal, you have to shoot. And he shoots from 25 yards. Uh, he took yeah. it. He yeah. never doubted. He took the first touch. He was forward, not backwards, forward. And not again, forward. The mindset is where is the goal? Shoot and score. And if you don't have that attitude, and everybody today was really positive every time they were on the ball. It's just to go and attack the opponent box as much as possible. And um, I think uh, when you shoot, anything can happen. If you don't, you know that we're not going to score goals. Cheers, thanks. James, CBS. Uh, hi, Mikkel. There, there was a moment midway through the first half when the Arsenal fans were, were chanting for you to give them a wave. And it took, seemed like it took a while for you to, to notice them. Did you feel like you could enjoy the experience of having fans back or were you still focused on the game? No, but I was so focused on the game that I didn't hear or understand uh, what they were saying. Uh, and the moment that I realized, obviously, I, I appreciate so much uh, that it made a huge difference. Honestly, even if it was 2000, uh, those 2000 were really accountable. I think you would agree with me that uh, they were really positive towards the team. And uh, that energy in some difficult moments is even more appreciated. Uh, and of course, I appreciate a lot the support uh, towards me. Do you find it, I mean, we, we know from having seen you in the behind closed doors games that you, you like to get your messages to the players. You'll shout quite a lot. Was it a challenge at all with the, the fans making such noise to, to make sure you were heard? Not yet, but it uh, will come hopefully and they, they can make that happen. And it's, it's great because at the end is, He's trying to transmit something with the players that is missing when they are not there. The moment that they are there, obviously, it's less necessary for the coaches, I think, to intervene so much. Um, and hopefully, with time, we'll get there. Thanks. Uh, finally, before we do a split, Darmesh from Sky. Hi, Mikhail. Congratulations. Um, just picking up on what you said about the fans when you said they made a huge difference. Now you've seen them firsthand and the atmosphere they bring. Do you feel maybe that you, those who can have fans in their stadium will be at an advantage compared to those clubs who can't? Well, probably because uh, this is sport without fans. Uh, it's completely different and everything is uh, flatter. The, the players lose a little bit of purpose and emotion. And uh, it's something you want to share at the end of the day. Um, we are here to entertain. We are here to to make the fans enjoy. They have a huge passion for our football club. And when they are able to transmit that, that gets directly into the players. And um, and yeah, for me to have them here, play at home or away is always different and, and it's just because of them. Okay, we'll just do a split 10.30 Friday.